Toronto, little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you coming home, Pete's, I don't know when. I'll pick up the cat poo then. Welcome, 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 everybody. How did you like my little tune? Uh-oh, we've got some little buddies trying to hear my tune. Welcome. The cat poo needs cleaned up and I'll be home soon. Oh, right. Welcome, everybody, coming in. Justice, our little toe. Where's Stephanie? Tiffany? Fishing? Robert? Lark? Stacy? Misha? Sleep? Paralysis? Nisi? Nisi? Amanda? Dawn? Ree? Vulgar? Lynn? Why, good evening, Go Hands Girl? Erica? Shoddy Mom? Tracy? Desiree? All right, my little cats in the cradle and these silver spoons. Salty, Jolie K, Pookie, I am Dee Dee, Sherry V, Emma V. Thank you. I missed you guys as well. Amy. Yeah, I was going to go live yesterday, Belladonna. Yes. Thumbs up, everybody. Helps get us out there. You know the good old notifications. You guys, this Yankee Candle... I had to take a break from it, man. This thing has lasted probably a year. I'm like, all right. So, if you see wait, crazy things on my hand, Z, welcome, Tree Vulture. Okay, so yeah, this guy has lasted forever. I was like, oh my goodness, I got to take a break. So, let's go ahead and show our candle what we are twerking with. And let's go ahead and get started. And um, Melanie, welcome, Sophia. Sophia, I truly was, I had a friend stop over, and um, I get free Kroger coupons, and uh, I was up to like three things of granola bars, and I was like, they're going to get over the giveaway if that's all I give away is granola bars. Yes, Erica, we are going to get to those in a second. Sleepy Moo. So, I always get these free granola bar coupons, and there was somebody standing outside today, so I gave them a handful, and then I gave, I told my friend, I said, you know what, you've got kids, come get these granola bars. I saved a handful in case I get trick-or-treaters or just, you know, spare things I give people if they ever need a snack, if I see, you know, anybody here homeless, but... I was like, I got to get rid of these daggone granola bars. So my friend came over, long story short, and man, she sat and talked for about two hours, and I didn't want to be rude, and I was like, I really, <laughs> I was like ahead of the game tonight, you guys. I was ahead of the game, okay? At seven o'clock, I was like, I'm going to cook dinner, it'll be ready by eight, and we are going to be on here, and we're going to be rocking and rolling, and we are going to be unstoppable, Justice, I think Eric should be coming. He mentioned in the community tab that he was on the way, but if it does get wild, Mick, welcome. Thank you, Mick. Um, if it does, Melissa, balanced opinion. Right, Shoddy Mom? My friend always, she has kids. And she's like, you know what? My husband's got dinner cooked, and I'm going to just chill for a minute. I was like, oh, you know, I didn't. But I was like, man, I planned on being early. Tacos are great. Welcome, love. So I was ahead of the game tonight, and lo and behold, here we are once again. So um, here we are. I was like, well, you know what I thought about? I, I wasn't going to come in, and I thought, I don't want to leave him hanging. Plus, we've got a couple things to get into, and I thought, you know what? This could be a good thing. Foodles is lurking. Yes, Sophie, I got that on the list. Ambinator, tater cakes, welcome. So let me crack the list here. I got a... Um... Awesome. Okay, so Balance used to be Bees Cop. Okay, fantastic. Eric, yes, there's Eric. Welcome, Eric. Great to see you as always. So I will show what I'm wearing. I will show our candle, our drink of the day, and our snack of the day we'll do in a later, but I will show it right quick. So it's a little big, but you know what? I've mentioned this before. Oh, Sherry V, you can't go wrong with the gingerbread and cinnamon. Um, that I, I like the gourmand candles. So I will warn you the shirt's a little big, but I've mentioned this before that... um. Journey, welcome, Arlo, that they always make crop tops. 
As you guys know, I'm not the skinniest tool in the shed. I've got a muffin top. Lo and behold, everybody knows. But I don't like my muffin top showing. And I just, I'm getting older. So I'm not, you know, one of those little fancy little love tigers strolling around. Modern, thank you. Let's show the earrings right quick. So they've got like a little bit of purple in here, rhinestones. And they've got purple in here and then a spidey. So... Since we've got our spider sense out, let's get to it, and we've got a lot to get into. Eric's got hamburger, so that's fantastic, Eric. Can't go wrong. It's better than hot dog. So, we're on a roll. Uh, earrings came from Meyer. Top came from Hot Topic, guys. I showed the Hot Topic tall a while back. So, let's go ahead. Now, I will say, like I said, that it is, you know, supposed to be kind of like more of a crop top, but I, you know, I'm an older tiger. I prefer not to let it all hang out. So, it is a Beetlejuice shirt. It says, never trust the living. I thought that was very fantastic for tonight's uh, never trust the living Beetlejuice. And it's just got a little slit right here. Again, it's a little bit big. And then we've got on our Simon. You guys weren't supposed to see. I wasn't matching. But we've got our Simon Velvet PJs. And they do have pockets from the Walmart, I showed a, oh guys, did I even upload this haul yet? Get ready, if you're into Sephora and makeup and stuff, I even forgot to haul my skincare, so we still got skincare. Beachy, welcome, yes, Amy, comfort is the key. Simon is a little bit aggravated over here trying to get in, speaking of the devil. Simon, my grandma wanted to take him for fall pictures. Uh, right, Masha? Don't say foodles. Don't say foodles. Don't say foodles. Um, my grandma wanted Simon to go get fall pictures. I did take a couple. I'll put one up in the community tab. Um, Sugar Bear was with another one of my family members. Sugar Bear is very active. So, when if she has the time to go run and play in fields, that is her jam. So, she rode with one of my other family members. They had a job to do. And that way she could run like a wild tar tiger. Damn it, Danny. I'm going to have to go Ulta. has a tiny bit more selection, and I like Ulta's point system better than Sephora's. Sephora's, you got to spend $3 million just to get $10 reward. Okay, my little Maki autos. Let's get started. I'll show you what the candle was that I was holding in the video. And yes, I'll show my coffee. Um, so, oh goodness. Okay, well, the coffee wants us to show it first. So, I picked this up today at Meyer, and this is the Meyer Honey Blueberry Seasonal Roast, and it is a light roast, but, so this was on sale at Meyer's, you guys, this was $4. I thought this was a really good deal for $4, and you get 12 K-Cups, and then I drank this earlier. I wanted to show this. I do have another one, but I figured, um... Oh, BG, we're going to truck right ahead. Um, I have not tasted the blueberry coffee. I just put it, so it's kind of warm. And I had this earlier. This is really good. I've showed this before, but this is the pumpkin spice one. And I do have another one of these for another day. Now, I will tell you, this is a hard, strong coffee flavor. It says 120 20 milligrams of natural caffeine equal to one and a half cups of coffee. Real coffee, foamy milk, lactose free. So, exactly, damn it, Danny. The stronger the caffeine, the better for me. So, they make these in a, um, no tater cakes. I'm going to get into blueberry coffee. It's cooling down. So, I, this brand I always try. I pick these up at Meyer as well. But if you see, now, do not shake these. These will go foaming at you. Do not shake these. So, uh, these are really good. And like I said, now they are strong. Travis, great to see you, brother. Hope all is well. Give Travis a warm welcome. Travis is from the Angry Grandpa community. Welcome, Travis. Deb F., welcome, Andy C., Lisa, and Lockdown. Welcome, everybody. Okay. So we finished her off. Yes, damn it, Danny. If you drink this and shake it as a gift, 
Tiffany, I do that all the time. If you guys watch my Starbucks videos, I bring them home and I don't add ice. And then I add it at ice at home and it makes them last longer. Thank you. And Emma V, that is what I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Sophia, that's a great, nice. 1.75 caffeine K-cups for $3.98. You can't beat that. Yeah, Tiffany, when, when Foodie goes to Starbucks, Jamie, we just got started, love. We are talking about coffee. We haven't even got started, to be honest. So that's why kind of people are like, get started with the Foodie stuff. And I'm like, I like everybody to get in. Jamie C., welcome as well. I like everybody to get in and get situated. You know, let your elbows loose. Let your uh, hot dog flow, as Eric would say. But um, thumbs up, and uh, I'll show you this candle, and let's get to it. But like I was saying, Tiffany, I get my Starbucks. Unless it's hot, I'll get light ice. But if I'm not in a hurry to drink it, I get it with no ice, bring it home, and I break them down into two. I'll have to show you. I don't know if I've made a video on my rocket fuel. But, um... Right, Travis? Shake one of those up and give it as a gift. Okay, y'all. So, let's get into our candle that I picked out. And, um... Let's get into our candle. I got this at Meyer today. I was very intrigued. And it didn't have a price tag. So, I took it to Lady and I said, how much was this? This was $5. I gotta be careful because it's lit. This is spiced orange. It says blood orange, cinnamon, and allspice. Isn't that really cool, guys? It's nice and big. Isn't that a cool, really nice little eye? So, it's the Tuscany brand. I've showed this before. And I picked this up at Meyer. Can you guys hear me? Sophia says, no sound. Chrissy, thank you, love. So, there was a rose one, and then another one was purple. Okay, everybody can hear. Sophie, maybe refresh. Naughty Rudolph, welcome, love. Yeah, isn't that cool? So there was a rose one and a purple one. Tracy, Wend, Stephanie C, Melanie. Uh, Amy, I am impressed with the scent. Barbara, welcome. Um, I am. As soon as I lit this right before I start the stream, Trump, you're more than, or Wend, you're more than welcome here, but no spamming, please, or you will be gone. I'm going to tell you that once and for all. Wend Surfer, you're more than welcome to stay, but you will be gone the next spam. Thank you very much, and come again. More than welcome to hang out, but please do not spam, and no politics. Thank you, Sherry V. Thank you, and thank you, Beachy, as well. Thank you. No politics on here. You're more than welcome to stay and hang out if you'd like. Okay, so like I said, when I lit this, I could smell it immediately. I had to go like this at first because I had this in my hand, and I thought this was it, and this is Rose. Um, you know what, Balance? I like Graveyard Girl. I really do. A lot of people were like, um, Rowdy Chat, welcome, love. They're like, oh, Graveyard Girl fell off. You know what, man? Filming every day, and, um, okay, Ree will be right here. PJ, welcome. A lot of people are like, oh, Graveyard Girl fell off. You guys, Graveyard Girl has been on here for years, you know, and filming every day, that takes a toll on somebody. Oranges, Porges, welcome. What? There's a churro one, Melanie? Holy bat. Oh, yes, Sophia, the Harry and David stuff is really good. One year, I had a neighbor give me, I still have the basket in my kitchen. Um, yeah, Roddy, I do think, you know, when you film every day and, you know, Bunny's audience grew up too. Fran, welcome, love. Yeah, Bunny's audience grew up too. So, you know, you kind of got to, your content's got to go with what, you know, your people enjoy. I, I really like Bunny. I think she's great people. Um, I really like Bunny, you know, and to be honest, Bunny talks about how she went through a spell of depression, and you can't be on every day, all day. Yes, Tree Vulture, it was a pear basket, and it had different things, and I still use the basket for snacks in my kitchen. Yeah, their pear baskets are great. Okay, well, let's get into, I'm sure most of you guys aren't here for candles, pears, and, um, 
Uh, no, they're a little, uh, spider, and they're a spider. Here, I'll take one out. I know it's, yeah, I really enjoy Bunny. I think Bunny has a really good personality, and, um, I really like Bunny. I love that she gives back on Halloween. Um, I don't know if she'll do it this year, but, um, Charlotte, welcome. Um, that Bunny usually has, like, her Halloween carnival for the kids in her neighborhood, and I think that's fantastic. Oh, you're good, damn it, Danny. I know some people just kind of get... But, yeah, so they have, like, um a light purple rhinestone up here. And then pink. Oh, I thought it was purple earlier. My bad. They have pink here and then the little spidey scents. So I thought, never trust the living how good for today's vibe. So let's go ahead and get right into... There's a lot shaking. Lady Lithium, welcome. And welcome, everybody, coming in. Thumbs up. Hate to say it, but it really... Um, helps our little channel tremendously. So, before we get in, the secret to what you guys can do is, I bought this Halloween shirt when it was on sale earlier in the year in the summer. So, a lot of guys, you guys say, Kaya, you spend so much money on different themed stuff. I really don't. Um, what I do is I get different themed stuff like this. I wait for it to go on sale throughout the year, and then I save it till next year. Thank you, Shelbo, and welcome. So, you guys, these were like $14 regularly. I think I got them for like 7 or 8 bucks. Now, when things are on sale for the holidays and it goes on sale, I have learned that it goes quickly. So, if there's something you see on a sale and you say, eh, I might wait. Now, maybe if they have a bunch of them, but if they have two or three pairs, you might want to get it while the getting's good. Yes, Tiffany, I do. I got my winter coat last year in the summer. My family's like, you are off the chain. Why are you ordering a winter coat? Because, hey, I got this coat for 40 bucks, and it was regularly 140 That's why. Your girl's a cheapskate. Okay, Cass Cass, welcome. Now, I do want to say this. I got the giveaway box out today. I got that knocked off the list. We are going to do a holiday giveaway. Nice, Tracy. Yes, I have the both the Hocus Pocus palettes. Stephanie T, welcome. Uh, you guys, I love stuff. Chrissy, I do the same thing. I buy all my boots, my coats. I'm not one of those per people that, as I mentioned this the other day, that it's got to be the 2022 yada yada. If I like it, I get it. I don't care. I like my own style. Like I tell you guys, wear what you guys want to wear. It doesn't matter if it's the 2022 Louis Vuitton Sean Don. I prefer vintage items for things like that. Vintage items. I have vintage coach bags. You know, things like that. Um, oh, no, Tracy. I did not. But I have to. Uh, when you guys see the Sephora and all the haul I just did, you'll see why I've got to be good. Yeah, I, I love vintage Melanie. People are like, oh, that coach bag you have, Kaya's old. Well, you know what? I prefer vintage things. Now, if I do like new things as I get as a gift, but I'm not one of those people like, oh, that's out of season. Never mind. Um, okay, let's taste this coffee and get to trucking. Okay, so this is the Meyer Honey Blueberry Seasonal Roast. And let's do it. And then we've got a Kroger pumpkin chocolate chip cookie sandwich. It was a dollar. I was like, do I need it? Do I not? I said, eh, why not? Okay, that's fantastic. That's great. Yes, tater cakes. I get a tiny hint of blueberry. It doesn't smell like artificial blueberry. You get that nice, light, light roast, like it says. Tiny hint of honey. It's not an artificial blueberry or an artificial honey. I'm really enjoying this, you guys, honestly. Wow. Sandra, welcome. Uh, Andy, I put... I didn't want to call out the... Um, or cancel out the honey and the blueberry. So I put just a smidgen. I don't use sugar. I put a smidgen of creme brulee. It's almost gone. And then this weekend, we've got some pumpkin things to move on to. So I was trying to burn up this. Um, 
I was trying to get this uh, creme brulee that's been lurking forever creamer I've got. This is great, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I highly recommend this non-sponsored. It is not an artificial blueberry. You guys, I got a Starbucks one the other day. I'll have to show you guys. It was like honey something. It was coinly honey. And I love sweet. I love sweet. You guys know that. <laughs> right, Beachy? Kroger has good creamer, I have to say, for a reasonable price. But, you guys, this is killer. I, I have to say, this is fantastic. I I've had blueberry coffees in the back, and I'm like, eh, I was really hesitant getting this. Yes, Andy, I have seen the Green Mountain Blueberry, and that's another thing, you guys. If you can't find this exactly, Andy, the Green Mountain Blueberry, Green Mountain Coffee is a brand, like Andy said, and there is a blueberry one. So, Andy, fantastic. Thank you for the help. Yeah, if you guys don't have a Meyer, like Andy said, um, thank you, Jamie, and welcome back, Fran. Uh, yes, like Andy said, the Green Mountain is... Um, yeah, this is kind of like a dupe to that, Andy. Thank you very much. That helps everybody. And if you guys see things like this that remind you from other stores, T-Vulture, I keep hearing this chi Pagan, welcome, love. Great to see you. Fair, great to see everybody. Thumbs up. If you guys see things like this that I show and you guys have something that's like it, I know a lot of people don't have Kroger and Meyer that helps each other tremendously. So thank you. Okay, let's move all this stuff and get to rockin' and sockin'. Sherry V, my grandma does not like Starbucks coffee, believe it or not. All she likes that we get, Saint, welcome. Nope, we're just getting started. Welcome, everybody coming in. Ooh, Beachy, that sounds fantastic. I've had Manuka Honey Shampoo before. Uh, Trisha, hold on one second and I'll show you these pods out the way. It is a Beetlejuice shirt. Yes, BJ, I was just getting into that. So, um, you're good. You're fine, PJ. So, what we're going to do is we are going to, um, yes, Fran, I think they are East Coast stores, if I'm not mistaken, that Meyer and Kroger is the East Coast. Now, let her know in the chat, guys, that I think Kroger has spring offs. What is it? Smith's and Albertson? It's about peace, baby. Welcome, beach flower. Okay, let's show the shirt once again and get the truck in. Oh, my, Stephanie, I don't have merinos that I've seen. Okay, Kroger's, Fry's, Ralph's, Albertson's. Thank you, guys. That helps each other. Okay, guys. It says, never trust the living and Beetlejuice hot topic. Sandra, I did. You will have to email me. I found a little, um, email me, Sandra, and I'll tell you a little thing that I figured out. I, I found a, um, a little monkey wrench in the road, but if you email me, I'll explain that to you. Cat K, welcome. Okay, welcome everybody coming in. Let's not get sidetracked. I'm sidetracking myself already. So, let me tell you guys what the game plan is. Knuckle sandwich. If you see this for the replay, I got your box out today. <laughs> Eric, will you throw my email in the chat? Let me know if you're ready, and I will. Or Sandra, if you can get a pen, I will grab it. When Eric can throw it in, and I will put it in. So, Eric, Eric, let me know when you're ready. Let's get through this, and then we will get to trucking. Okay, Sandra, you ready? And anybody else, if you need my email, just in the future. And listen, other than the live streams, it's in any regular video. Not the live streams. I don't catch it in time. Okay, ready? Rock and roll. M-I-S-S-K-Y-A-26 at iCloud.com. Misha, I'm going to say chocolate. I'm going to say chocolate. Waxing, welcome, love. Okay, so here's the game plan. Thank you, Eric. Eric's got the email if anybody needs to grab it. Okay, thank you, guys. Here's the game plan. I want to give you guys a rundown, and then we'll get started. Sandra, are you ready? One more time, and Eric just threw it in the chat. Ready? 
M I S S K Y A twenty six at iCloud dot com. Eric, will you throw it one more time? Okay, Rowdy, that Joanne, welcome. That is what we're getting into next. So, Dixie Normus, welcome. Okay, thank you, Eric. There's the email. Anybody that just, if you ever need a future reference, if you don't get it tonight or ever get confused, I don't catch it by the time the lives go up. But again, it's always in the regular videos. It does say for business inquiries and product reviews, but I do that so I don't get a bunch of spam and BS, even though I still do. Okay. Monica, welcome. Here's the game plan, okay? Here's the game plan, okay? We are going to do, and obviously it's Saturday, okay? We are going to do one more giveaway. Not forever. For Halloween, Saturday night, we are going to have our Halloween, If, if I'm pretty sure unless an emergency pops up or a family emergency, we are going to do, Saturday night is going to be our Halloween Halloween. Halloween party. Meats, cheeses, snacks, giveaway, games. Lindsay, welcome. So, what I'm going to do is, I want to I want to get this, I, I don't want things to go to waste out here. I've got skincare, I've got makeup. Yes, Beachy. I'm going to give out baggies of Taco Bell sauce, sweet and sour sauces I've licked halfway and stuff like that, and just pre-sealed the lid. Anyways, I do not want the skincare and makeup to go to waste. So I got the first box. Off she went today. So Halloween, we're going to do some giveaways, okay? I'm not a big baller out here. You guys know that. So let's do Halloween. Let's get these giveaways out. And then I will say, you can kick my tail I say I have a family situation coming up, like, soon. So, I'm going to say the first week of November, maybe the second, I will get the P.O. box. Let's get the giveaway stuff out, and then let's do that. Now, Su Susan, welcome. Yes, waxing. I'm just a baby baller out here on these streets. So, Terry G, welcome. So, what we're going to do is, let's get the giveaway boxes. We've got the one pass giveaway just went out. We're going to have some Shutterfly gifts. We're going to have some makeup and skincare for a Halloween party Saturday. Now, I want to put this out here. I'm going to be drinking some wine. If you do not drink in adult beverages, that is absolutely fine. Get yourself some coffee, some nice tea, a lovely non-alcoholic drink, a spritzer, chanoodle bops, welcome. So I just want to put that out there. I don't want to trigger anybody, but I am going to be drinking some wine. Heads up. So we, I, I will be drinking wine. Again, substances was my thing. It was never alcohol. So I just want to make that very clear. So... Get you some snacks, get you some popcorn, cheese, salami, whatever, you know, your forte is. We're, you know, guacamole, chips. We're going to have a little shindig. And, um, you guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I was going to make, like, some Halloween things, but, yeah, thank you, Susan. That's exactly what I was going to get into. With the washer situation, you guys, I just don't have the funds right now to buy a bunch of, I mean, we've got snacks, don't get me wrong. But I don't have the money to bake a bunch of stuff. So, exactly, Stephanie. Whatever your forte is. Um, so, we'll do, some, we'll do some holiday baking. I did get those little booklets in the store that have holiday recipes. And I got some of those to give you guys, too. And they have coupons, and that's good for a while. So, I picked one of those up. We're going to make some cool recipes in that. And I just don't have the money right now, guys, to buy a bunch of Halloween recipes. But like I said, guys, we've got, um, all the holidays are coming up, you guys. We've got Christmas, we've got Thanksgiving. 
Yes, exactly, Beachy. Virgin alcohol drinks, fantastic, guys. Yes, Fran, and that's okay. Yes, you guys, anything, tea, coffee, a non-alcoholic strawberry daiquiri, a non-alcoholic pina colada. Yes, and I did get the washer, guys. Um, I was going to wait until next YouTube check, and I was like, no, 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 I can't. I can't. I was like, I can't wait. I can't. So I'm not going to lie to you. I did have a lot more things planned for Halloween. And I don't want to sound like our girls. But just the funds. I, I can't buy a bunch of stuff to bake with. But I did get these books today. And there's some banger, easy, cheap recipes we're going to do throughout the holidays. Okay. Moving right along. So Saturday, get your drinks, snacks. Elizabeth C., welcome. Now. Throughout the week, I'll think of maybe a time, you know, I help with grandma. She wants to run around, do this, do that. I don't have an exact time. The closer we get to Saturday, we'll kind of come up with the time together. Yes, that's an idea. Perrier with fresh strawberries. Excuse me. Fantastic. That sounds great. Yes, Fran. Yes. Who that? Welcome. So, don't worry. We're going to have, you know... We're, we've got we've got the holidays rocking around the house, so we got plenty of things, you guys. You know, we once as we begin to grow, you know, and that's why I tell you guys thumbs up. Always leave a comment that helps. As we begin to grow, as the years progress, we can do more and more cool stuff. But right now, I'm balling on a budget, and um, Beachy, I do quick, easy recipes. I've cooked all my life, so the last thing I want to do is get home and cook. I like good, quick, easy stuff. Danish, welcome. So, guys, don't think I'm flaking out on you. And like I said, we've got plenty of things to come up. And, and you know, the more we grow, the bigger we get, the more we can invest in new things. But, you know, right now, I just wouldn't give back to you guys. JHP, welcome. And uh, I want to give back to you guys. And that's what, you know, still got to pay on this washer and stuff. Nisi Nisi, thank you. And uh, I want to give back to you guys. And if that, you know, makes I'd rather do a giveaway than making a silly recipe. And to be honest with you guys, my grandma and half my family, they don't eat sweets like I do. So if I make a big old pie or a cake, it's going to go to waste. My best friend remembered, you know, her fiance passed in the motorcycle wreck. I don't have them next door where I used to give them things for their girls and I don't have, I don't want to let the stuff go to waste. DH, welcome. Vegas, welcome. Okay, let's scootle do, get right into it, and let's get to trucking. And yeah, so I'd rather just, um, I, I'd rather give back to you guys than, um, I know, Susan, I know. I'd rather give back to you guys and do a giveaway, put that money into shipping than have a pay or a, a pie or a cake that's going to set around and go to waste. I don't want makeup and skincare to go to waste, so I'd rather get that out to you guys and off we go. Fran, I got a, I made a video of it. I was like, I'm making it. My grandma goes, you got to be kidding me. You're making a video. Amber, welcome, love. My grandma's like, that's, Silly. And I was like, you know what? Maybe somebody's looking for a new washer. They don't know what kind of... She goes, making a video of the washer for what? I said, it's a washer review, man. She's like, that's the silliest. She doesn't understand that people review anything on here. <laughs> she really doesn't understand that. So I made a video of the washer just saying welcome. So if you guys, you know, I'll show you the washer. And I mean, if... Hey, you never know. And to be honest with you guys, to be honest, a lot of our videos have been getting no ads or limited ads, so maybe we might be able to get a little ads on a washer video. I know there we didn't say nothing bad in a washer video. So, I'm putting it up, and then when I took the camper trip, I got a camper video, a review of that camper, and I'm going to put it up. Yes, I am. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but I'm putting that camper video up. It's a two, it was a 2022, so I'm putting it up. Okay, Mimi H. Thank you. Mimi H says for the parte. All right. Thank you, Mimi H. Lena, welcome. Yeah, Lena, my grandma's like, that's the washer review. What? Making a video. Because she called and I said, 
hey, I'll, I'll call you back, Grandma. I, uh, I'm going to do a video. She goes, a washer video for what? PJ, thank you, love. Awesome, thank you. All right. Yeah, she was like, Henrietta, welcome. Yeah, she's like, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard. All right, thank you, PJ. Thank you, Mimi. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. I know I keep saying that, but let's genuinely get into it for real. Okay, so what a wild, um, how do I even say this? What a dark, twisted turn this says went. Now, guys, I want to, uh, no, Amy, the camper was a camper that I took a trip in the summer and I did a review of it, and my phone was farting out. So now that I got it on my new device, I'm going to put it up. Because maybe if somebody's looking for that camper or looking to rent one, they can check it out. Danish, thank you very much. Danish says hugs. Thank you, Danish. Thank you very much. Um, Maybe, well, plus, you know, my grandma was asleep, so I really didn't get to show the camper, and it's full when we had it. So if somebody, it is a 20, it's not my camper. I just rented it. So, if somebody's looking to rent a camper, or they're looking at that model, and again, it's a video that doesn't have anything, hopefully it'll get monetized. So, we need a little help out here, y'all. We've been struggling on the foodie videos, so maybe it'll get some clicks, you know. Okay, let's do it to it. Wow, Sandra, thank you, love. Sandra coming in strong. Yes, Stephanie. Oh, goodness, Stephanie. What was it called? Yogi, Stephanie, I when I when I take a break to check on the dogs, I got the paper in there on my other uh, craft area. I was just going through looking for things I wanted to throw away, brochures from. It was the Yogi Bear Campground, and it was by Dollywood, Stephanie. Steph, fantastic. Actually, I think I have a video. I. Jamie, thank you, love. You guys are coming in strong. I'm going to get this washer paid off one way or another. Jelly Belly. Yes, thank you, Jelly Belly. Jelly Stone. I got the brochure in here. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, guys. Wow, thank you. You guys are fantastic. Yes, thank you, Stephanie. It was the Yogi Bear KOA, and it was super nice. And I have the brochure in there, and I I think I, if I'm not, thank you, just saying. Um, I love this mug. It's a really big one, and it's got, like, a mint inside. I did a, you know what? On my old phone, I'll check, too. I'm pretty sure I reviewed that campsite for you guys in the daylight. I'm going to tell you what. If you guys like the videos, like it, don't. I'm going to knock those videos out, plus I need to get them off my device anyways. Will is chill. Welcome, love. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, everybody. Okay, y'all. Let me rein it in. Claudia, good evening, love. What am I drinking? I feel like I'm drinking. Hold on. I don't know if it was a piece of blanket fuss. Okay. Don't think I'm ignoring anybody. Welcome, everybody coming in. Let's hit it hard so we can scootle do. This coffee's fantastic, you guys. I don't know what I'm doing drinking coffee at midnight, but here we are. Okay, so let's talk about, like I said, things have took a really dark turn. Now, I ask each and every one of you in here now and in the live and in the replay, please be re very respectful in the comments. Please be... Just be, you know, you guys know we like code words over here. And we like to be respectful and keep it classy. Now, I want to say this off to bat before we get started for the night also as well. I have said this the other night and I'm going to say this now. Shit show fan, welcome. I'm going to say this. I am not a judge. I am not a police officer. I am not a jury. I am not any of that. I do not know what happened that night. Only Natter and this May lady knows what happened. 
It is not for me to judge what happened. It is not for me to say, yes, it happened. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. That is not for me to judge, okay? I want to make that very clear. That is how I feel. Jody, welcome. Are there bits and fragments of the story on both sides that seem weird? Yes. Paige, I am a Sagittarius. I am not a judge. I am not a jury. I am not the cops. I am not the federales, okay? So I'm going to say this. Amethyst, thank you. No, Amethyst, don't ever feel like... You guys don't ever feel obligated for anything. I'm just glad you guys are here. A thumbs up and a comment goes a long way. Do not ever worry about anything. Yeah, just saying. I'm I'm lost and I have talked to somebody. Princess Alyssa from Josephine. Elizabeth, thank you, love. Elizabeth. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate it. And thank you, Elizabeth, and everyone as well. Just saying, Loopy, welcome everybody coming in. Um, Thank you, Will, is chill. It's not like I said, me and somebody outside of YouTube were talking about this. Kellner, welcome. Only Natter and this lady know what happened. Unless this actually, you know, goes to court and we, you know, physically, you know, with our eyes, see some kind of documents that are legal documents. Thank you, Paige. We're, we don't know, okay? So I'm not going to sit here and speculate and say, well, I don't know. And it, it, it's too much. It's too dark of a topic, okay? You guys know that I am a survivor of, let's just say for YouTube's sake, bad things happened in my childhood. SC, welcome. Welcome everybody coming in. It's not my place to sit here and say, this happened, this didn't. That's not my place. Because you know what I don't want to do? If this genuinely happened, I don't want to do this. And that's what I'm about to show you. I don't want to ever... You know, I keep hearing, well, maybe the ladies had sub... Okay, I used to have a substance problem. So what? Does that mean because somebody struggles with something? Or, you know, they've had this or that happened in their life? That they deserve to get something happen? No. So, you know, I, I don't know. Jenna, Welcome. It's not for me to sit here and decide. I'm not going to be one of those people that's going to pick through all this with the May situation and say, you know, like, this is it, this is that, this is... Nobody deserves it. If it truly happened, then let justice be served and let it ring from above. That is how I feel. That is how I feel. That is how I feel. If this truly happened, then justice needs to be served. And that is that. So, we're, we're not going to... Um, yes, Princess Alyssa. I had to... Proud Grammy, welcome. I had to set... And I was going to come on last night and I thought, you know what? I, I, I'm done talking about this. I, you know, unless something miraculously, you know, hardcore evidence, and I'm not talking little fragments of stuff, unless some hardcore Gregory, welcome, love. Wow, Gregory, 18 years. Congratulations. Wow, Gregory, fantastic, honestly. Yeah, Sherry V, I'm going to let it all play out, and whatever you believe in, the higher, you know, whatever you believe in, I don't like to talk religion on here, but, um, Princess, welcome, Princess M. It, it's not for me to... Jen, welcome. It's not for me to sit here and pick apart. If it happened, like I said, let this lady get justice. And like everybody else is saying, leave these two alone. Rod, welcome. 
Now, you can say, Kaya, the Punisher, welcome. You can say, Kaya, while you were going to help Foodie back in the day, yes. I had, had thought about giving Foodie... No, Punisher, we're saying that Foodie and Natter, they just need to be left alone and their own little do their thing. You can say, Kaya, well, you reached out to help Foodie back in the day. Yes, I did. Would I do it now? Absolutely not. Thank you. Eric is getting what I was about to say. Sean Toll has really... Sean, welcome. Sean Toll's true character has came out. Sean Toll's character... Sean Toll doesn't want help, okay? Sean Toll's character... Ron, you're more than welcome to stay, but I'm not playing around tonight. We're having an adult discussion. If you want to be here, Ron, you're more than welcome. If not, then scoot will do. You're more than welcome to stay. I would love you to hang out, but we're having an adult. Ron, I'm talking about my... I, I talk about myself on here, too. So I don't, I don't exploit anybody for coin. That's not... Did you not just hear me say that we're pretty much wiping our hands clean of this situation? Toodaloo, Ron. Thanks for coming. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, I don't think Foodie wants help. Micah, great to see you. Always good to see you. Chantal doesn't want help. Chantal is only worried about when Chantal gets herself in a pickle... She's not worried about how to not get back in that pickle again. She's worried about trying to erase the pickle and forget about it. Chantal doesn't want to move forward. Chantal just wants to avoid the past and not figure out how to step on. Knuckle sandwich, my love. I got your box out. I hope you've seen that. And yes, as Knuckle Sandwich is just saying, her poor daughter had to erase her channel. So let's get into that too. We had that on the list. Now, people can say like Knuckle Sandwich was discussing just now. This May, we're going to call her, and Chantel Doxter. Let's talk about that right quick. Everybody in the chat, do we not know that Foodie has said 50 times, Natter doesn't know how to edit, Natter doesn't know how to edit? Well, guess what? There was a video up on Natter's channel saying screenshots. Guess what Foodie forgot to do? Our Lady Perpetual Poutine, welcome. Now, I'm not going to show it, but... Foodie, Ashley, welcome, welcome, everybody coming in. Thumbs up. Tan, welcome. Foodie put a video up on Natter's channel called Screenshots. Now, what you forgot to do was you forgot to erase out the name or pull the screenshot to where you couldn't see the name. So, genuinely, if this did happen... You have doxed the victim's name. Fantastic, foodie. Fantastic. And I agree, Krista. I do think that it was on purpose. So you literally don't understand we're going to get in here and discuss what we've got also on here. That you are getting into a legal battle. Now, we are saying if this goes to court, nobody knows. But let's just say you are inserting yourself into the situation. You are inserting yourself in the situation. Okay, so speaking of, let's go ahead and cover this, and then I want to show you guys, let's get into the community tab. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, people were saying, was Foodie with Natter in Toronto? Well, hello, guys. 
What did anybody think, you guys? Reverend, welcome. Did anybody think that Foodie took a break from YouTube because of the drama? No. Foodie took a break because she was with Natter. And she knew if she showed Natter this early in the game, after these alleged accusations, that people were going to go ham, steak, and baloney. So our girl wasn't just taking a break. Okay. So let's talk about, here we go. Here is the Twitter photo. Thank you to this channel. The channel is Foodie Beauty Drama and Manipulation. I have not seen this channel until tonight. So thank you for your screenshots, Foodie Beauty Drama and Manipulation. We will give you a thumbs up and a heart for your work. And let's show the... Okay, so it says... Foodie Beauty and Natter together October 27th, 2021. Game playing as usual. Now, if you want to check this video out on this channel, you're more than welcome. It is a tiny channel and they're just growing, so I don't want to ride their tail and show their whole video. So let's go ahead and show the thing that Foodie put on Instagram. And this is what Foodie put under the video. Under a spell or something. Under a spell or something. Real funny. Jay the Pie Thief, welcome, love. Under a spell or something. Actually, you know what? Let me stop here. Because I talked to somebody earlier, if you recall... They're in here, and we were chatting on an email, and I said it feels like she's under a spell. So, in a way, this kind of does go with what I was talking about. Yeah, I was emailing earlier in somebody and talked to them. Anonymous Fry, welcome. So, the title of the Instagram photo, it is from October 27, 2021, and it says, Under a Spell or Something. Under a Spell or Something. Don't they just look like some happy love tigers, boy? Don't they just look like, oh, look, he's got his little old navy sweatshirt on. <laughs> They are just big balling, y'all. They are big boss hog balling. And no, I'm not calling her a hog. Boss hog is something that they say in the South for a baller. So I'm not calling her any names. It is a saying, and I say it about myself even, that I'm not a big boss hog baller. Okay. So, bingo, bango, there it is. Exactly, Tater Cakes. You couldn't have said it better. A whirlwinded romance, literally. There you go. Bingo, bango. Now, I will say, if you guys check out the background of the hotel, it doesn't look too big boss hog bowling uh, status, but uh, that's just my call. So, um, yeah, the hotel doesn't look too fancy from the background just to... Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't look too love shocky to me. You guys, I knew it when she got she get ready. This pink flannel is about to be um three hundred a night, Tracy. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> the love shack, the rug, the grub shack, baby. Okay, so. That's the business. There's that. We covered that. There to gobble gobbler. Great to see you. Um, there you go. I knew everybody's like, are they together? Hello. Any chance that she gets was exactly. That's another thing. Um, Paul Spoon, welcome. Yes, that's another thing. Uh, excuse me, tater cakes. Every photo that she showed, Lindsay, welcome. 
every photo that she showed, she's got this daggone pink flannel on. So is the pink flannel going to be the new yellow dress, only this is our winter outfit? Now here's what I'm wondering, okay? $300 a night. Fantastic and everything. But if I don't have any clothes, and uh, we're going to get to the state of what the house was looking like. So, uh, cats in the crater and the crater, my bad. Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Uh, Pete's spilled the beans and showed um, the state of the house today. Wow. 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 Now, we're going to watch the video. It is a channel. Show them some love. And it is called... It's Water Weight. They condense it all down. Bingo, bango. All in a little thing. We don't have to hear Pete's talking about this, that, and the other one 50 times. Yes, PJ. We're going to watch it now. So, let's go ahead and give It's Water Weight... I thought they'd be downstairs. Hold on a second. Give them a thumbs up. Tell them... Thank you. Great video. Always show everybody some love. Thank you for the video. So, this channel is called It's Water Weight. They are like a condensed channel, like bottle. Um, Joanne, good night, love. Thank you for coming in. You know what? Balanced opinion, you guys. I noticed the other day, too. Yeah, we're going to show it, Sophie. Um, Natter had a ring on the other day. I noticed. Just saying, did you catch that? Now, if you guys remember, she's been wearing rings. Is this the engagement? And again, these are all my opinions. These are not facts. These are only my opinions. Natter had on a ring the other day, I noticed. Yeah, just saying. I cannot think of what video it was. But, um, Nads had a ring on. Okay, guys, so let's get into this. And, uh, let me get my comment through heart. And you know the good old blue heart. So, It's Water Weight. Thank you. Check out It's Water Weight. They do, like, compilations all, um, you know, put together. Like, condensed videos down. You guys know, like, the quick little... So, let's go ahead and check this out, and uh, I've got a blow me nose. Beachy, that could be so true, but it's still weird that, um, I don't think I seen him wearing that ring when he first started, um, and I just got some water in here, guys, some ice water, um, Okay, guys, let's get into it. An absolute rubbish. Me nose is getting crusty. Anonymous Fry, welcome, love. Chantal talked a few months ago about buying them both rings like two weeks into things. Wow. Foodie Beauty's biggest fan, welcome, love. Welcome, everybody coming in. Welcome. Welcome, everybody coming in. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, PJ, the pupples are asleep right now, but we can do a quick, uh, Lunar, great to see you. Thumbs up, everybody. It helps us tremendously, and, um, we can, uh, the, the whoopee dogs are snoring right quick, but we can take a whoopee dog break. Let's try and knock some of this out, and scoodle-doo. Okay, y'all, let me blow me nose. It's grim. Welcome, love. Okay, so this is its water weight. It's water weight video of Pete's spilling. The cat is out. The bag is what I'm going to call it. And Pete's shows the condition. Now, keep your eyes peeled. There is some intimate objects. Look at this hallway, for instance. Huh, I thought they'd be downstairs. They usually are. When, uh, when Chantel's not here, they're usually... Look at that downstairs. floor. But, uh, mm. Yeah, here they are. 
sure they do want uh, food and water, though, so um, I'll need to bring them downstairs. See ya! This is Chantal's room See over ya. here. Look at yeah, that. Into her room. You know what? You don't want to know what it's like in her room, honestly. Did you just see the cat poop? Guys, Hold on. Let me go back. I missed the cat I noodle. Be downstairs. So notice when they pan over to like, it's like the um, Our Lady Perpetual Welcome. Yeah, there's Kitty Piddle. Um, when he pans, I don't know if it's like the laundry room or something. There's a cat tizzle on the floor. Here, we're start. Sorry. They usually are. When, uh, when Chantel's not here, they're usually both downstairs. But, uh, yeah, here they are. Okay, over here. Did y'all sure see? Do want, uh, Look up in this water, corner though, so, here. Um, it's up I'll in this corner. Downstairs. Sorry, y'all. They usually are. Look up in this corner here. When, uh, when Chantel's not here, they're usually both downstairs. But, uh, yeah, here they are. See the cat, Tittle? Right there. Honestly. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry. like in her room honestly guys come here so come if on. pizza's saying you don't want to know what it's Go like in food. her room you know it's got to be a wreck speaking of which it probably won't be too long before i'll need to eat oh yeah the fire alarm i forgot about that give me a second give me a second here to fix the fire alarm That's what Chantel first called her. Casey was the name Chantel first gave her. I think her original name was actually Jewel when Chantel got her from the uh, animal shelter. Jewel. You're no Jewel. You're a lump of coal. 
dirty and stinky. <laughs> nope, I'm never going to be nice to her. Verbally. I will never say nice things to her. She's enjoying the pettings. Yes, she is. Yeah, she likes this. She's happy. And just want to give a few more pettings to Sam before I uh, eat them. Yeah, we need to clean up over here quite a bit. He's like, oh no, I didn't show the trash. They fell their water dish as well. Hi, Sam. So, look at their bowls. Why are we going to pause here? Their bowls are starting to get crustaceous as well. So, back to, I need to fill their water as well. So, basically, you're basically saying Chantal has been going, in my opinion, for two days... And it looks like exactly proud, Grammy. It looks like dried kitty food. So, oh, Pete's feeds and waters the cat. It's sounding like to me like, oh, they need to, their water needs filled as we speak. Okay. I see him. Kitty food I laying around. You You're the goodest boy. You're the cutest boy. You're the cutest boy you've ever seen, Sam. Yes, you are. Yeah. So yeah, everyone feel free to share this video around. Yeah, share it around. No thanks. Carrie, welcome. Not you. Everybody likes good cats like Sam and Timbit. Not you. Everybody hates you. <laughs> what was that little noise, Sam? You little weirdo. It's hungry and wants his water changed. That's what it is. <laughs> what do you laying like Before, that welcome. For? Yes, about a package and uh so instead of taking the trash out and uh you know picking up the house he's worried probably i'm sure about a package that he's missing i'm sure about a drawing or some kind of comic or he, he's more worried about his package that he's missing obviously um so he's got a call about his package so take the trash out, but no, his package, September, welcome, love. His package is more important, in my opinion. A couple of little things, but, uh, yeah, I hope you've, uh, well, I know you like seeing the cats. Um, I was happy to show the cats off for everybody, and, uh, yeah, I hope you all join me for my live, and, uh, no, thank you. Uh, until then, have a nice day. Okay, so what I wanted to discuss about this more than other, the cat piddle and everything. Katie, welcome. This is another thing. The joking about the cat's name is real old. Real old. It's getting real old. Exactly, Angel Cake, right? It's getting old, okay? If you do not like the cat being called BBJ, simply call the cat Casey, Joel. Like you said, Chantal's changed the cat's name three times at this point. Yes, I do have little nicknames for my dogs. Yes, I do. But... This resentment that he holds about the cat's name being BBJ is, it's played out. It's not funny. 
talking about you don't like the cat, the cat, it's old. It's real old, okay? Call the cat BBJ if that's what you want to call it. Call the cat BBJ. It's played out. It's old. It's not funny. Now, I understand animals can't understand, but it's played out. Quit treating the cat different because you have resentment in your mind. Talk to Chantal about that, not the cat. Angel Cake, that's the only thing that I can think of that when she started dating BB, again, these are just my opinions. I am not for sure about this. But I'm assuming that the BB came from BB and she added BBJ to it. That's exactly Stephanie. Passive, aggressive, in my opinion. So the cat's name, when her and Pete were together, was Casey. Now, Pete spills the beans in this, that when they first got the cat from the shelter, the cat's name was Joel. So the cat's been Joel, the cat's been Casey, and now the cat's BBJ. BB Junes. Thank you, Sean. It's played out. Lizzie, welcome. It is played out. If you do not like the cat to be called BB Junes, BBJ, call the cat Casey then. Call the cat Christine, welcome. Call the cat Casey. Call it that then. So this whole passive aggressive thing about the cat it's old it's played out it's not funny it never was funny it never will be funny and it's totally played out aunt welcome love no it wasn't bb's cat the cat has been chantal's cat chantal had the cat when her and Pete got together, the cat was named Casey. And then when Chantal got with BB, I'm assuming that's where BB Junes comes in to play. I don't know. Again, like somebody just said, could it be BB Junior? Could it be BB J for the jewel? I don't know. But the cat, it, it, it's played out. It's played out. It's like, okay, we get you don't like the name of the cat. We get it. So, what I got out that video was, is the garbage, what does Amy say? The garbage is piled over in the kitchen. I don't know about you guys' animals, but I use Kroger bags, and I take out the trash when I go outside, of course, when it's full, and I like little Kroger bags or little grocery sacks. Um, a, I'm in a small house, like I said, an old farmhouse. EP, welcome. And B, you know, you got to watch about mice and stuff in the wintertime, things like that. But I don't know about you guys, but if I had a garbage can that was overflowing and I leave for the day, leave for the night, leave for the afternoon, me, oh my, welcome. My dogs, if that trash just... You guys hear my dogs running around in the background sometimes playing. If my dogs were to knock over that trash can, what do you think is going to happen? Now, my dogs are good dogs. They're very well trained. But you guys know, and I'm going to say as well as I do, if that trash can would get knocked over... They're exactly knuckle sandwich. My dogs would have a heyday. Everything would be like, I mean, here's the thing too. What if there's a can that's open in that trash, a can of cat food, an old can of cat food, and it's got a sharp lid or a sharp tin lid, and they go to licking it, and their poor little tongues get cut. Jocelyn's mom, KC, welcome. Welcome, for, or excuse me, Casey and uh, Lindsay, Jocelyn's mom. Welcome everybody coming in. What if the trash gets knocked over and there's an empty can in it? DH, welcome to love. 
they're going to cut their little tongues because they're going to lick things. Now, another thing. Let's talk about the poodle doos. Poo poo's in the laundry room. Bebop, welcome. What happens, you guys? If a cat box is not clean, or the litter box is not clean, now, didn't they have a litter box upstairs and a litter box in the kitchen? Shoddy, good night, love. Good night. If they are piddling on the floor, what is that telling you? Their cat box is probably not clean, in my opinion. Excuse me, stories, welcome. I went to say something and I <laughs> choked on my spit. Wicked Witch, welcome. Nikki, welcome everybody that I missed while we were playing that. Annie, Anne. Exactly, Mindy. So the cat box could be Mindy, welcome. The cat box could be dirty if the cats are piddle in other places. These are trained cats. These aren't kittens. They're used to their litter boxes at this point. They just haven't moved, so their litter boxes are in the same spot. Sarah M., welcome. I'm not trying to get on pizza's tail. I'm really not, okay? You guys know I suffer from depression, PTSD. Sophia, good night, love. I'm sorry, Sophia. I really did plan on coming a little later. I didn't expect my friend to talk for so long. I do apologize, um... Sophia, I'll try and get, depending, like I said, on things rule with Grandma T-Girl. Welcome, my little love tigress. Um, I will try and get on, like I said, granted, depending how the weekend goes, you know, my grandma, um, you know, you never know what grandma has in store. But, I don't want to say, I don't want to get on pizza's tail, Okay. But Pizza's decided to become a full-time YouTuber. Take out the trash, my friend, and clean the kitty boxes. It's just not that hard. Thank you, Tan. It's not that hard. I'm not trying to be mean, and I'm not trying to get on Pizza's tail. Because I've been in some dark places, I've told you guys that. Mia Mia, welcome. What is my saying, you guys? Share Bear, welcome. I chose my dogs to live with me. Grad schooler. My dogs didn't decide for them to live with me. I chose my dogs to live with me. Exactly, Renee. Or excuse me, Rain. It's not... If you cannot take care of pets, don't get them. Now, I know things happen sometimes. People go on weekend trips. People go on vacation. You know, hey, we went on a weekend vacation. Got to hurry up, clean the litter box. I, I get things happen. <laughs> PJ will be right here. But, Chilean Gypsy, welcome everybody coming in. Pizza's at home. He hasn't went on vacation. He hasn't went on a weekend trip. They haven't just got home from work. Pete's quit his job to be a full-time YouTuber. Exactly, Go Hands Girl. Get up, scoop it in the morning or the afternoon. You're up all night, scoop it in the evening. If you get up to use the restroom, go do a couple scoops and then you're good to go. You're good, Mindy. Right on. Um... Yes, Punisher. He officially quit his job to do YouTube, YouTube and get his mental health. Again, these are what Pete said. I'm not, you know, putting anybody's business out there. Um, he put this all out there. And exactly, Stacy. He admits he's lazy and said it. it it's not that hard. Just... There's things I do every day I don't want to do. But that's part of life. I didn't ask my dogs, hey guys, do you want to live with me? No, I choose my dogs to live with me. So let's move on from that. There's not a lot to say. Exactly, Chilean Gypsy. This is somebody that was bragging they make 12K a month. 
then get somebody, if you know you're going on a weekend or week trip, get somebody to come in and clean up after them or clean the house. It's just like, you want to live in that filth? Great. They don't ask for it. Get, you've got money like you bragged about. Get one of those automatic scoop and litter boxes that I've seen. But then those also have to be cleaned. But come up with something. Come up with something. Because this ain't cutting it. Lizzie, thank you. Thank you. And uh, Lizzie says, Jackson Galaxy said you need two litter boxes per cat. It equals six boxes. I agree. Abby, welcome. Amanda D, welcome everybody coming in. If that's what you got to do. Rod, I, did I ever say, Miss Moonbear, welcome. Did I ever equate Chantal or Pete's to Chantal being lazy? I don't care who's lazy at this point. Somebody get the cats a clean box. I don't care who it is. It doesn't matter who's lazy, what's going on. But the cats are obviously using the restroom on the floor. Ron, do you live with Cat Piddle on your floor? I get it, pets have accidents. I'm not saying that. Kimberly, thank you, love. I'm not saying that accidents don't happen and that maybe that, you know, but I also can say when there's trash everywhere and there's open takeout boxes that maybe they're having these accidents too because the crap that they're eating that they're not supposed to eat. Krista, welcome everybody. Paige, moderate carb maven. If I left to go boxes and things out, my dogs would be into everything. I don't care who's lazy, whose deal it is, whose problem it is to clean the cat box, somebody do it. Or pay somebody to come in and do all this. And if you can't take care of the animals, Give them away, rehome them, find somebody that will take care of them. Bebop, welcome. Exactly, Gohan's girl. Accidents happen, you clean it up, and you move on. But you don't let it set around and get crusty and chill on the floor. Exactly, Punisher. It's not their problem that somebody's at home. Again, like I said, I get people have jobs. People have families. The cook, welcome. Thank you again, Kimberly. Yes, and I am glad to be here. Great to see everybody as well. Dee Dee. And like Dee Dee just said, these are two grown adults that don't have to punch in. Okay, you got to be at work at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You get off at a certain time. Two people in a house. Hey, did you check the cat boxes today? Did you check the cat boxes today? You check them, I'll check them. Hey, I'm going to do the downstairs cat boxes. You're in charge of the upstairs. Come up with something. Exactly, Punisher. There's no excuse. Okay, so let's move on from the cat boxes. You guys get the deal. The house is rapidly back in... I don't think Chantal's room, other than the desk area, was properly cleaned anyways. And it seems to be the last time that she filmed the two. Oh, here's a funny one, y'all. I've been wanting to talk about for a minute. Somebody said the other day, and I had to, you know, my hand, I had Kaya get back here. You know, the hand was like, I was like, get back here. Stop it. That is not Chantal's trash back there. Those are her Halloween costumes. F 
Thank you, Paige. Good old Cools. That is Sean Toll's Halloween costumes. Thank you, Corey Coconut. That is not Sean Toll's trash, guys. Those are her Halloween costumes. Yo, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen one Halloween costume, and it was flung on the bed the other day. The lady, or excuse me, the Beauty and the Beast dress. That is what somebody said. I'm not making this up. I forget which video. Go check. That is not trash, you guys. In those black bags, that is Chantal's Halloween costumes. Okay. Yes, Angel. Yes. So those are her Halloween costumes, guys. That wasn't trash that we've seen thrown in the bags. That got taken out. Those are her Halloween costumes, okay? All right. Jamel, welcome, love. Just telling you, Mike Rochburns, welcome. Just telling y'all what I've seen. Those are her Halloween costumes. Stop. That is not trash. You guys, I've seen one, exactly just saying, I've seen one Halloween costume, it was the Beauty and the Beast costume, and when she was cleaning, she flung it on the bed. Okay, so moving right along, you guys get the gist, the house is basically back in the same state, or half-tailed, clean like it was, um, exactly, Seattle baddie, thank you, that ain't no, it's a Halloween costume, all right. If you want to go as a big, moldy, uh, black trash bag with rotted KFC in it, you're right. That is a Halloween costume, then. I know, Taco Tuesday. They thought that the trash bags got taken out, and those are her Halloween costumes. <laughs> right, the cook? Yeah, I'm. Let, you guys, if we get bored, maybe we'll go find it. I'm sure, actually, it was probably in the cleaning video. If we get bored in a minute, we'll go trucking around for it. That is her Halloween costumes. Yes, it is. Well, why hasn't she worn any of these costumes? Yes, Fran. Um, oh, are you talking to Punisher? I got this at Kohl's, guys. It is the, um, it is online. It was. Actually, I think, no, somebody said they were sold out online. So you might be able to find them on Halloween clearance. But yeah, this came from Kohl's. I think we sold them out, you guys. Yes, Paige, I am a Sagittarius. Okay, y'all, so let's get to moving and let's talk about... Okay, so we knocked that off the list. We knocked the Instagram picture off the list. Okay, let's discuss... This is where you guys are... Enrico, welcome, love. This, you guys, is where things are going to get a little bit. Guys, this is where things are going to get a little bit enraging, I just want to put out there. Now, if you guys hear a strange noise in the background, I do have the Whoopi Dog Seater on. If you hear any noises, um, it was getting a little chilly when I stood up to blow my nose. So, if you hear any strange noise in the background, I've got the Whoopi Dog Whoopi dogs are my dogs. Um, I know some people are like, whoa, wait a minute. I've got their little heater on, and that's what that is. Uncle Buck's Quarter, welcome. No one, welcome. Okay, y'all, so let's get to trucking right ahead and get to thy community tab, and let's discuss it. You know what, guys? I like to it, read it better on my other just device it's just so much easier so yeah if you guys hear a weird ring in the background yes exactly beachy thank you this is it's gonna get a bit touchy so our vibe is gonna get a little bit i'm just gonna give you guys a forewarning um heads up this is hold on i'm waiting for this to turn on when i charged it for us to <laughs> Make sure we're going to go thumbs up, guys, Why we are chilling. Thumbs up. It helps our little channel tremendously. And for those sometimes that don't get a notification, it kind of gets us out and about. Um, let's take a gander while we wait for this to upload and see if we'll... 
Foodles is supposed to pop up tonight, she proclaims. So let's take a peek around. Oh, look at these little love tigresses. Third down. Oh my gosh, there's an account called Fupa Troopa. Wow, where is Foodles? Gosh, you guys, I don't even see food. Here we go. No Foodles yet. Just a heads up. No Foodles yet. Okay, let's get to the community tab. Actually, wait, do I got... Stories, I don't know if she'll upload tonight. I think she's still with old Batter Dadder. Yeah, I think she's still with Homeboy. I think she was kind of saying that just to, to appease everybody. Okay, you guys, I want to make sure you see this, that I'm not, you know, editing or any... Oh, that I'm not editing or anything. I haven't edited. This is genuinely her community tab. So I want to make sure you guys realize that I'm not editing anything. Now, check out my video if you haven't. Um, we did the other community tab where we did the deleted. So, the community tab that we covered the other night, there were two more after that. EP, thank you. Yes, let's all get along. Thank you, EP. That is our motto over here. We treat everybody with respect if you are new to being over here. We agree. Emma Kate, welcome. Welcome and good night, love. Thank you. Our motto over here is everybody is welcomed and we are adults and we can agree to have different opinions. So, just because somebody doesn't agree with you, that's okay. And that's how we rule over here. Everybody is welcome. I do not block people unless they completely, unless it's racist or homophobic things. I give you three chances if you're just being, you know, I do not do politics. I do not do racism and homophobic things. Other than that, everybody's welcomed and we just truck on. And just because somebody doesn't agree with you, that's cool. Everybody has their own opinions. So that's what we do over here. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so this is 12 hours ago. And this has, at the current time... Oh, you guys, I don't know about this chair. Thank you, Sandra. I really love this chair, you guys, but I don't like... I feel like I feel like a bucking bronco. Okay, let's do it to it. Setting at 101... Or, excuse me, 201 thumbs up at this current time. It says... Whew, this is a lot to take in. I hope you guys don't believe the accusations from May Anderson. <clears throat> now, why couldn't you just put... I think I'm going to have to, Loopy. Is A, it sets low, and B, it's like a buck and bronco. First off, I hope you guys don't believe the accusations from May Anderson. First off, why couldn't you just put May? Why again did you have to put Anderson? Veronica, welcome. Language, Veronica. You, you can say F, but Veronica, I'm going to... You can say F, but just... um. Yeah, Veronica, we got to leave... We want to leave this up. So just kind of, guys, words, cussing. Let's be careful so we can leave this up. You're good, Veronica. I just want to leave this up. I know it's really late. And, um, of course, you know... People got to work and stuff. Okay. I hope you guys do not believe the accusations from May Anderson. Her story has been proven. Her story has been proven, guys. Over and over to have so many contradictions and holes. I will have my attorney contact hers. And that is all I will address of this. We... Have all the proof we need, but we don't owe it to the public who just want outrage for views. I will continue to live my life, and this will be dealt with off camera. Where do we begin, guys? Where do we begin? 
Her story has been proven over and over to have so many contradictions and holes. So do I, Seattle baddie. I just, I've been getting hammered lately with uh, YouTube. Um, Exactly, balanced opinion. Thank you, that is what we were getting to. We... Her story has been proven over and over to have so many contradictions and holes. Chantal, were you there? Did I miss something, you guys, along the way of this? Did I miss something? I thought she was mad, you guys, that he wouldn't show her all the screenshots. Did I miss something, guys, somewhere? Irene, welcome. Anna P., welcome. First off, Chantel, I don't know what and who you think that we over here are. I'm talking about we, us. We, the campers, the love tigers. We over here. Let me tell you a little something, Chantel. We, me know people that have gotten legal things, that are lawyers, have studied to be lawyers. Chantal, I'm going to tell you a little something. You, you, Y-O-U, have nothing to do with this other than you are inserting yourself into something that you have no business inserting yourself into. Were you there? Were you there? Not we, because we weren't there. And neither were you. You know why you weren't there? Because that was the night that you cleaned under your desk. So a lawyer is going to tell you, Lady Green, welcome. Or excuse me, Lady Gray Bush, welcome. Exactly, Mrs. Moonbear. And you got to my next point. You are inserting yourself into something that you, you made a video doxing the lady's name. You made a community tab, Ken, welcome, saying, I hope you guys don't believe this lady. Who do you think you are were you there were you there so you are saying that you are going to contact your lawyer first off we know you're not going to do that but we like to pretend over here so let's pretend okay carolyn welcome Let, let's pretend first off your Lawyer is going to tell you, what are you doing? You have no business in this. And you are going to get in trouble, you, because you're trying to give this guy an alibi when you were pulling rotten KFC out of a desk. So let me tell you a little something. People like just saying, and all the other fantastic little channels out here, got your little KFC out of the drawer, the receipts of where you were. Not we, you. Maxi, welcome. You were cleaning your room, quote unquote, that night while under the desk. Exactly. Miss Moonbear says Miss Moonbear also. So, your alibi does not work. And yes, Sean, next thing I was getting to. You, not we, you, Chantal, since you like to keep saying we, are tampering with evidence. You are messing with the case. And as Balance said, you are harassing the victim. That you have no business in this because you weren't there. 
you were pulling rotten KFC out of your desk. You are getting yourself into something. Now, like I said, we're pretending because we know that Sean Tall's not going to get a lawyer. And for what? For what? These accusations are being made for him. May didn't say Natter and Chantal. May said Natter. So what are you doing here? You are just completely any inkling before any of this I had. Exactly, Punisher. Defamation. What are you doing? You, even if you're going to pretend you're going to get a lawyer, this lady, if this is real, could save all this and get you in trouble. What are you doing? You are poking your nose where it does not belong. And how do you know you just erased yesterday? You left those videos up and I checked. They had 24,000 views. If you were so thinking, uh, you said in the videos, you hoped that May called the federales. So there's videos out here floating around about you talking about that you even had suspicions and that he wouldn't give you the full screenshots and you set the stage saying that he said the word. Now let's keep it classy in the chat and I'm going to keep this as classy as I can by saying it. That Natter says the word pound the kitty. We're going to say for YouTube. And then you backed it up and said, yeah, I seen him have auto one day. Get out of it. So you have done nothing but almost make him look you've added to it. You've added to it. What are you doing? Yes, Grim. She said, yeah, May said that Natter said during the altercation that Natter said, I'm going to pound the kitty. And Foodie said on the video where she was wigging out, talking about the situation when she found out about the May situation, she said, yes. He says that I've had him heard him say that. Now, exactly, Seattle Baddie. You waited days. You didn't delete those videos until they had 24K. You just deleted them yesterday. You basically aligned things up with things that he had said. You said about the pill and the kitty thing. You said about the freak bottle. You said that. Exactly. She also said that when he was very aggressive... So, you're lining up things. You left those videos up for days. Yeah, exactly, Melanie, but it's gone. She deleted it. What are you doing? Exactly, Maxie. You are creating a fake alibi. Like somebody said earlier, you are tampering with evidence. You are disturbing the case. I don't give a you-know-flying what. I don't care if I was with somebody for one year. 
I don't give, if I was with somebody for 20 years, 50 years, that's what I was just saying, Amy. Yes, that he was aggressive. Do you not think, I'm just using my rings for an example. Do you not think that I would take this off and throw it in the ocean if there was an accusation like that made and pieces in the puzzle were adding up in my head? And I, How would the May know about the, the kitty part? How would this lady know about that? Michael, or excuse me, Micah, Jungle Juice in some, um, the way I know Jungle Juice is, um, Siren, welcome, love. The way I know Jungle Juice is like alcohol, like a hooch made down south, like a party punch. But what I think was in that pill bottle was either Doan or I think it was HB. Yes, Paige. And she, yeah. Crystal, welcome. Exactly, Crystal. How would that lady... Yes, and that's another thing. Thank you, Chris, um, Miss Moonbear. Or it could have been lean. Yes, methadone is in liquid form too sometimes, Moonbear. Yes. When people go... It is a controlled... You go to the pharmacy. They put your... Um, you know... If you're on 10 milligrams, they'll, you know, put in... Some people can take it home if they're trusted. Some people can't. Um, I know GHB before has been... I used to hang out back in the day with bodybuilders. And a lot of bodybuilders don't like to drink because they, you know, all the calories and all the sugar and alcohol. So when I was in the club scene, we would, you know... That was a thing that the bodybuilders would drink because it was like an equivalent to alcohol, but without minus all the calories and all the sugar. So here's my theory. It could have been known, GHB, lean, is the zine, syrup, purple drink. I personally think, in my opinion, now, let's rewind it here. This is another thing that me and somebody talked about. What? What? Listen to this one. These are only my opinions. I want to put this very clearly. And again, guys, we want to leave Sleepy Moo. Welcome. We want to keep this classy. People are asleep and we want to leave this up and we've got to be good, you know, for YouTube. Okay? No, Micah. Jungle juice is alcohol, at least that I've seen down south. It's like a party punch, like a hooch. That's at least how I know jungle juice. Now, Chantal said up in Canada that GHB is called juice up there. I've never heard it called juice. The only thing that jungle juices I've known is down south in Atlanta and like New Orleans. Jungle juice, yes, thank you stories. I've made jungle juice. Jungle juice is like fruit and things mixed up like a punch, like a party punch. Yes, and then Chanoodle Bops, exactly. You've got Jungle Juice from Prison, which is called Hooch, that they make. Um, yes, Lizzie, exactly. A lot of people would take fruit and different punches, and they'll add, like, um, Everclear and fruit and make it. But everybody's got a different Jungle Juice recipe. Okay, here's another thing I got. Ruby, welcome. What if... What if, now again, these are only my opinions. What if, macaroni, welcome. What if, yes, that's another thing, Fran, yes. What if, you guys, it was GHB. Now, like I just talked about, GHB is called the date grape drug. What I was just talking about is GHB, a lot of people drink it that are weight li list, uh, lifters. They use it because it doesn't have calories. 
it's the equivalent of, it kind of gives you an alcohol buzz, but if given in heavy doses, that is why it's called the date grape drug. Because it's very tasteless, it doesn't have much taste, you you guys catch a drift, I gotta be careful in here. So what I was thinking also is, and again these are my only my opinions, what if it was B, because Chantal mentioned that when they first got together, and another thing I caught Chantal say the other day too, she said, we bought. We bought. In the video where all this was coming out, she said, we bought. Ken, you're good, love. You're good. What if, what if, it was G.H. that he brought over there. No, Don Blonde, welcome. I I agree, no, Don Blonde. It, it's definitely taken a disgusting turn that I'm not, like I said. I'm, after tonight, unless, you know, something super miraculous, I am done talking about the whole May and Natter thing. I, I truly am. So you guys are probably seeing exactly macaroni. The storyline is just getting to be too much. So, here's my thing. Exactly. What if it was B because in case somebody wasn't cooperative. Good night, Fran. Do you catch my drift? What if that was brought just in case? I'm not going to say anything else, and please be careful in chat, but I'm sure you guys get where I'm going. Hendrix, welcome. Anyways, I'm sure you guys get where I'm going with this, and it's ridiculous. And again, these are only... These are not facts. These is only, we're just having a discussion. So long story short, let's go ahead and scootle do one from this conversation. But let's go ahead and keep trucking to the community tab. All I can say is, cat servant, welcome love. All I, yes, and like just saying said, this is all alleged. These are only our opinions. And as everywhere in the chat, none of this is facts. This is all alleged, okay? I think it's very, very trifling and disgusting to sit here and say, I hope you don't believe someone. I don't say unless I know something for sure and seen it with my own eyes, I'm not going to tell you guys something. Hey, don't believe them. I seen it with my own eyes. So that's pretty trife of you to sit here and say, I hope you don't believe this lady when you just had two videos that you deleted. Exactly, unsta Unstable Panda. That's probably one of the worst community tabs I've seen from her. I'm going to say one of them. I hope, let's read it again. I hope you don't believe the accusations from May Anderson. Chantal, you need to go back and read this yourself and really evaluate in your head how you feel about that and what if this is all true. Exactly, Princess Alyssa. And Marie, exactly. Chantal, I want you to set up loud and proud and read this like you believe it. Because you made two videos acting like you yourself had doubts. You set up the scene that the lady was coming. You set up the scene that he talked about pounding the... <coughs> you set up the scene, pill bottle... How could you, unless you physically knew 100%, how could you even write that? I don't care if I was with somebody 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, unless I knew 100% that they didn't do it, 
I'm not backing them, and I don't care who they are. Partner, boyfriend, husband, fiance, wife, anybody. Son, daughter, whoever. Unless I knew it was 100% true, I'm not backing them unless I can say, yes, they were with me at that exact day and that exact time. Shame on you. Shame on exactly, Miss Moonbear. And not by some screenshots. Not by some screenshots. That that's another thing, Chantal. Go ahead and edit. Fiddle around with him. Go ahead and edit, or edit and tamper with the evidence. Real smart. Real smart. How dare you? Chantal's did a lot of things to irk my nerves, but this has got to be one of the worst. How dare you say that you hope people don't believe this lady when you were cleaning out your desk that day and you doxed the lady's name on top of that on his channel? Well, your channel, because you slipped up the other night and said, well, I guess with the money from his videos, I'll buy myself a new CPAP. So you said what Pete, so Pete's was true, which I figured anyways. So Pete's was true, which I figured he was. Every time you guys, what does she say in her community tab? Hey guys, the community tab on his says something about, hey guys, making Kasari in four hours. Dude, that is her. It is typed exactly how that is her second channel. Yes, it's his channel, but it is on her YouTube account, in my opinion. Exactly, Donna. How can you get... You know what? Chantal's character has really came out during this whole situation. It has really came out. I, I, I can't... Again, I don't give if it was my husband, my dad, my mama, my kid, my brother, my son, whoever, my best friend, unless I knew 100% and I was physically there, I'm not backing them for nothing. Not for my safety, not for their safety. No. What is wrong with you? What if this was you? What if this was you? And somebody's on the internet telling people, hey, I hope you guys don't believe them. You have lost any sort of... Exactly, Mrs. Moonbear. You have lost any sort of anything... I would not talk to you, and I would not help you right now at all. Not at all. I used to feel bad. Oh, I'll talk to her. I'll help her. No. No, I won't. Sandra, the community tab, or just in general? This community tab was 12 hours ago. Exactly, Nisi Nisi. I agree. Cat Servant says, FB should no longer be given attention. She should be punished for being evil by us making her irrelevant. I still think you were fun, Kaya, though, Kaya. Cat Servant, I agree. And like I said, we're going to keep our eye on this whole May thing. But as far as... I just had to show this, you guys, because I when I read this, I was like... And what are your attorney? What are you calling your attorney for? What are you calling your attorney for? Are you guys married? That's why you're saying you're going to... What? How are you in this other than you trying to... 
Sodi Shannon, welcome, love. Welcome. Shannon, the boy, this community tab, Shannon, is... I know, you, Shannon, you read that community tab, too, and was like, you have got to be... Like I just said a minute ago, Shannon, I don't know if you were here, but any inkling that I had of any kind of anything for her is going. It is going. Seamass, welcome. Welcome, everybody coming in. Any inkling of anything, this just here shows that disgusting. Any inkling of anything, girl, do you. And I'm sorry. Do you. Whatever you two deserve. I'm talking about you, Sean. These two deserve each other at this point. I don't want to hear, oh, we broke up. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Don't come crying when exactly, Re. <laughs> Stand by your man, literally. I really hope that, again, nobody knows what happened but May and Natter. But if it did happen, I truly hope justice gets served. I really do. And Chantal, I really think that uh, you need to stay out of this. And uh, you, uh, if I was May, I'd be collecting all these screenshots that you are uh, out here trying to get people not to believe me. Lucci, I, I don't... It's like, dude, it's you really like, like I just said, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but unless I knew 100%, I don't, like I said, I don't give a if it was my daddy, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, whoever, unless I knew at that time, the accusation, that exact time and day they are with me, I'm not co-signing for nobody with the accusation that serious. Wake up, Maggie. Welcome. Okay, so let's keep Scootle doing. I'm not co-signing. I don't care if it's my mom or my dad, my sister, my brother, my family member. I don't care. Okay, so nine hours ago. Hey, guys. Now, here's my thing, too. Open up the comment section. How can you sit here and share your opinion about this lady... But nobody can, nobody, uh, comments are turned off, guys. So you can sit on here and say, I hope nobody believes this lady. Share your opinion. But nobody else can share their opinion. You guys got to admit, if this was Trisha Paytas, if this was PewDiePie, if this was a big, big YouTuber, this would have hit the fan. Shannon, 100%. If this was a big, big channel, you guys, this would be ringing every JAMA, every T channel. I know, Sandra, it's... You guys, if this was a big YouTuber, this would be ringing bells right now. This would be ringing. If this were you or me or any of you guys posting this crap on our community tab, we would have been done and gone. And I know, uh, Chilean Gypsy, but it, it it's funny too. We're gonna have. I'm gonna contact my lawyer. First off, like I said, Sahara, welcome. Why are you contacting your lawyer? The accusations were made against you. No, I don't think so, Jody. I think that he's a I, I don't I think he's a runner. I think he's a exactly, Shannon. Like that's what I was like, let's pretend. You know, we like to pretend over here, but let's just say we like to pretend. Why, if you are going to, what are you contacting a lawyer for? Like, 
the accusations aren't against you and you might want to get a lawyer if you keep talking trash on this lady because you're tampering with evidence if this is true. She don't get it. Like, this is a legal situation. If, I mean, we're saying if. We're going by what the lady has said that she contacted the police. Nobody really knows. I don't know. We're just saying if. We're just saying if. This, we're going by what the May lady said. If. You are tampering with evidence. You are inserting yourself into Hold on, y'all. I need to play. You are inserting yourself in this, allegedly. And if this is all alleged, you are getting yourself in the mixed. Okay, y'all. So let's scootle do. Nine hours ago. Hey, guys. So I'm going on a cool haunted drive through Toronto, through outside of Toronto. And then heading home sooner than I expected. Wow, did you guys spend too much money at once? That sucks. Coming home sooner than I expected. So probably will go live sooner than I expected. But a reminder, if you don't want to support me for whatever reason, then please don't be in the chat. Otherwise, I will be removing negativity and will not be talking about drama, etc. XO. So there again, turn your comments on. Exactly, Uncle Box Quarter. Why are you guys coming home? Do we spend a little bit much money in the casino? Are we not getting along? I don't know, Shannon. I, I actually, I don't know because somebody was saying, I said the hotel didn't look very exciting from the background of the room. And then somebody said that stories, Monty said it was $300 a night. Exactly, Miss Moonbear. Did you not bring enough party supplies? So, okay, four hours ago, it's setting it. 88 thumbs up. Posting some trip pics on my Instagram. Foodie Beauty Official. And I am trying to edit this vlog now. I think I'll just do one long Toronto one. Wow, this was a really good redemption trip for the VIBs. So your whole... Vlogtober that she was going to make sure it was a good week. She's just going to do it one long video for you guys. Just one long video. Tara, welcome. Just one long video, you guys. That's what she's going to do. She's just going to put it. Renee, welcome. She's just going to do it in one long video, y'all. What did I exactly, Shannon? I told, I said the other day when I did a deleted community tab, she deleted. I said, if y'all think that trip, not you guys, her VIEs, if y'all think that trip was for you, you got another thing coming. Because that trip was for her and Natter from the get go. You felt the animal welcome. Mindy May, I have. Stuck up for CMAS. Welcome. I have stuck up for Sean Tall and Kristen M. Welcome. In the beginning. I reached out for Foodie and asked, you know, hey, I've had substance issues. Lauren G., welcome. You're always welcome to talk to me, Sean Tall, if you ever need to get a hold of me, yada, yada, yada. This whole debacle, like I said, I'm not sticking up for somebody Exactly, Shannon. Claudia, welcome back. I'm not sticking up for somebody, again, unless they were there at the exact time and the exact day, the exact time and day. That these accusations were being made, I don't care who is it or who it is. Nobody 
I'm not going to sit here and, you know, say exactly, Shannon, this is a whole different ball game. This is different. Yeah, this is a whole different ball game. This is different than all of us just catting around, you know. Um, yeah, exactly, EP. Oh, I, I like it toured the other day. Oh, they don't have good lingerie, you guys. I need... Oh, what do you need good lingerie for? That's not for the VIEs. This is a whole different... This isn't like, oh, foodie done made me mad. She done did something. I'm mad. You are making a community tab telling people not to believe this lady. Exactly, Mindy. It's like, dude, and then to set here, her community, or, um, her thing that we talked about earlier, her Instagram, under a spell or something. Yeah, I think you are under a spell or something. I think you are under a spell because, Chantel, what are you doing? I cannot, you guys, I get people are indecisive. I get that. I'm indecisive. One minute I want to do this one. I get that. Okay, but there's a difference between being indecisive and messing with somebody's livelihood and saying that something happened to them. There's a difference between sitting here saying. There's just you guys and these this is all alleged and this is all alleged in my opinions. If I know somebody didn't do it, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, yeah, I have heard him say that. Yeah, allegedly I have seen him with a pill bottle like that. How would that lady know those things? Art girl, welcome love. I've never heard of her say about pill kitty before this. And then, like I said, in the video, she said, we, we had bought some H, we had bought when we first got together. We had bought some. Ken, clean up the words or else, Ken, you're more than welcome here, but I am leaving this up and people don't want to hear about your... Yeah, people don't want to hear about that. Ken, you got one more chance and you're out. One more chance. People don't want to hear about you being horny toad. Not, never, not right now. And to talk about that, why we're talking about this subject is ridiculous. So, Ken, one more time and you're out and I mean it. I'm not playing tonight. Anyways, y'all. I don't know. This has just become a complete, um, so yeah, so one big long Toronto video, and that's what the, don't, don't believe the lady, guys, she's editing, let's take a, um, quick, hold on, let's, let's look at, uh, old batters, and check out if he's got a, look, this screenshot video is still up where they have this late, look, loud and clear. They didn't even go back and edit this lady's name or scratch it out. Loud and clear. The lady's name is still right there up top. Look at that. I'm not going to, but still up top, right there. Yeah, Shannon, did you see that? They didn't even edit out. And, like, we all know she did that on purpose. Yeah, see, doesn't this look like I was just talking about this earlier, y'all? Hi, guys. Kashari will be made on a live stream in 15 minutes. Who starts out with hey, guys, period, in their community tab? Yes, guys. Code words, guys. Code words. We want to leave this up for everybody. Code words, guys. Code words and language, guys. She wrote this community tab. Hey, guys, period. Kashari will be made on, like, dude, you are running this guy's live stream. Yvonne, welcome. 
Yeah, exactly, Krista. That is foodie. Foodie always starts out with, hey, guys. I don't know, y'all. I don't really know what else to say, but um, this has took a dark, twisted path that... um. Exactly, Shannon, but he still is said, and that's another thing me and somebody, um, Kristen, I got on a Jeffree Star lippy, and then my lips are super dry, I keep putting this Jack One Hill gloss over it, um, it's celebrity skin, and then once I, my lips get dry, I just keep putting this Jack One Hill lip gloss over it. How does this guy, Shannon, and everybody else, how does this dude still have 4,000 and some change subscribers. How? Oh, Amanda D., I think this is far from over. And like I said, I am not a judge. I am not a cop. I am not a jury. But, uh, yeah, let me just show for y'all. Uh, your girl is not subscribed anymore. And I subscribed, like, unsubscribed probably two, three weeks ago, so I want to put that loud and clear. I am not subscribed. No, ma'am. So, back to, let's go ahead and I've got to, what do you guys want to do? End the stream here and then we will start over. I have to pee pee in the kitchen. So, do we want to take an intermission and start over? Let's see what is I know that Becky had a little bit of shenanigans going. I told you all about Becky. Becky just, Becky just, in my opinion, it's only my opinion that, um, PJ, yeah, we can eat our snack. The dogs are asleep. Um, you know what, guys? I think we should just do a quick start over. Some people are like, Kaya, um, Um, beachy. <laughs> you know what? Some people are like them. Kaya, your lives have been super long lately. What? Is there an update by Life by Jen? Holy, is this might be. I know Jen's boring, guys, and some of you guys. Hold on. Life. Where are you at, Jen? Where's Jen? I seen somebody set an update. Hold on, y'all. Let's look at Jen's community tab. Yeah, I think that's what we should do, guys. We'll do our snack of the day, and then, uh, yeah, a quick pee break. I know, Mindy, but some people are like, goodness gracious, Kaya. Like, once we get to... Okay, yeah. Let's talk about... Okay, y'all. Let's just go ahead and do a quick... Um... Yeah, I'm going to come back. Yeah, I just seen Uncle Buck's quarter. I was like, I can't spill. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to say, Stephanie. Yes, yeah, so let's do a... We'll talk about Jen's community tab. And then maybe we'll just kind of prowl around and see what we can't uh, get into. And then if Foodles pops up, so be it. You know, we'll check it out. Yeah, let's just change the vibe a little bit. This was pretty heavy, and then a lot, like I said, a lot of people were like, yo, your live streams, I get ready for work, and they're three and four hours, so this will give everybody else a short live stream. Everybody can get a snack, a drink, use the restrooms. If you got dogs, let your dogs out. Ziggy, whatever. Um, mm. Foodie Beauty's biggest fan, that's another thing. Yeah, we haven't talked about old uh, Shantles. Yeah, we could take a, we could just do a quick little peek around. Yes, guys. So, thumbs up if you haven't, and I appreciate anybody. Like I said, we are going to be back. If you're just coming in and you get bored, you can always watch the beginning of this till we get back. Or if you just want to get caught up to date, um, oh, Angel Cake, she's been back. I don't know how she survived this long. So, guys, yeah, exactly. Go clean your cat boxes if you need to right quick. Mm -mm -mm. Hence, somebody. 
All right, y'all. Thumbs up. And if you're going to bed, thank you so much for joining me. Or if you got to go to work, I know everybody's on different time frames. Yes, read my coffee's like. But um, you want to get a snack, get a drink, and I will see you guys literally back in a minute. Or you need to charge your device. Actually, I just plugged up too. So, thank you everybody for joining me. I say we'll be back in about. I say about ten minutes. Ten minutes. So. If you do pee-pees in the kitchen, make sure you roll it down the sink. If you pee-pees in your wherever, make sure it's taken care of. I'll see you guys back in 10 minutes. If you guys go to bed or go to work or have something else to do, thank you so much for joining me. As always, have a great day, great night, and I will see you guys back. Part 2, refresher, and uh, kind of a fresh vibe. We'll be back. Thank you guys so much. Kaya is out.